Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video at the Pharmacist Academy! Woo! So in this video I will be discussing the role of the informatics pharmacist, one of the hottest specialties in pharmacy right now. As you know technology is being used for everything right we're incorporating technology into everything it makes our life easier and because of that there's a lot of job opportunities out there and specifically in the healthcare field this also applies now this is going to be the second video to a series of videos that i'll be putting out focused specifically on different pharmacy careers and specialties and this is something that will help any student that's currently in pharmacy school will give you a better idea of what you want to do once you graduate. Now, the informatics pharmacist is also known as the pharmacy informatics specialist. And according to ASHP, pharmacy informatics is the integration and use of knowledge, information, technology, data, and automation in the medication use process. Now, just to simplify this, it's using technology throughout the whole medication use process, right? So the different aspects so we're going to use this technology in order to deliver information, to share information, to store information or data. That's what it's all about. General roles of the informatics pharmacist. Use of pharmacy knowledge to improve medication safety and clinical information systems. And on the next slide, I'm going to provide you guys with some activities, right? Examples of activities that reflects these general roles. Streamline pharmacy services through integration of different pharmacy systems. Use of clinical information systems to improve patient care. Generate reports and data from CPOE to improve clinical decision making. Now here are some examples of activities of the informatics pharmacist. Placing hard stops on medication orders without indications. And even though I gave this specific example, this whole concept or this safety precaution could be utilized in different aspects of the medication use process. Linking pharmacy pixels and medications ordered in EMR. So this will streamline the whole process, right? So the physician will enter the medication order in Epic, and Epic is able to communicate with the pixels, right? Or the storage cabinet. And then the nurses can go in there and take the medications out, right? So this is like a, a little communication between the different technologies in the pharmacy. Designs and implements safeguards that check the barcode of the patient to ensure any medication administered is appropriate. And this can also be a hard stop, right? So if the nurse don't scan the patient's barcode on their wrist, they can't give the medication. Right? Or if they scan the wrong medication, they're going to get a huge alert on the screen. So these are all safety guards to prevent any medication errors. Designs a CPOE order set based on physician and nursing inputs. Generates a report on the number of patients who received vancomycin last month for the infectious disease pharmacist. And with this report, they can analyze it and possibly use it for like research purposes or to improve something. Let's say they wanted to improve the number of vancomycins that were used for the right indication. So these reports can also help with that. Practice sites, hospital setting. You may also find informatics pharmacists and in companies that create and design electronic medical record programs also so like all scripts epic cerna they play a huge role in this practice setting because the informatics pharmacist has that clinical knowledge right they have that background knowledge so if you add that to their knowledge and technology it just makes it easier for them to work together with other members of the team to build an emr that improves patient care overall so the job market so according to the University of Illinois, and they actually have, I think, a healthcare informatics program, like one of the best in the country. So they basically said the job rate projections are higher than for general pharmacists. Pharmacy Times also published an article that said the number of jobs in the field is growing twice as fast as overall employment, really due to a shortage of qualified employees available, which makes sense, right? because the use of technology in the healthcare setting is going to grow 
it's gonna continue to grow so they need enough people right they need qualified people to be able to handle all of the ins and outs that come with this According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the number of jobs in the field is projected to grow twice as quickly as overall employment through 2022, rising 22%. So that's huge right there. Now, how to become an informatics pharmacist? Pretty straightforward, right? You graduate, you do a PGY-1, and then they have a PGY-2 in pharmacy informatics, and it's 33 programs nationwide right now for the PGY-2. Or you could be somebody that has that background knowledge or experience in IT. This may land you a job as an informatics pharmacist even without that residency. It's not like, let's say, infectious disease pharmacist where now I don't think you will come across like a new hire that's not PGY-2 residency trained. I feel like with the informatics pharmacist, you could still land a job without a residency and informatics now this career path is for you if you're tech savvy of course direct patient care is not like a big thing to you enjoy working with a team as i mentioned you are going to be working with other it members in different departments you're creative you have baseline clinical background knowledge you're very meticulous I mean, whenever you're dealing with medication safety, you have to be meticulous. You have to pay attention to the little things, very detailed oriented, okay? Because any mistake that occurs in the system can lead to, you know, really bad things. You must have great communication skills and also have patience. And that will be the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with somebody who may be interested in this career path. Make sure to connect with me on these social media platforms. Thank you for watching this video and take care.